Hello, my name is Hannah, and today we're making a family in uh, Create a Sim, and so this is the Barrett family, um, and that last name means absolutely nothing, I just kind of randomized it, and then also I think I looked on Google, sometimes I look on Google, I'll just search the last names and then pick one, and so, you know, because last names are hard to just think of, because it, it's a last name, they're just like odd and just strange, so you can't really think about them, like I guess like Jones or you know, Smith or something like that. Those last names are very, like, common. I know, like, 80 people with those last names. So, like, you know, you could do that, but, like, that's kind of boring. So I look on Google and also just, like, randomize it on, you know, The Sims. And so, you know, you just do that. But um, I don't remember any of their first names. That's not a shocker if you've seen any of the other ones that I've ever made in the last, like, couple months. Don't care. Don't remember. Um, so there's these two people <laughs> and then their kid. I think there's one kid. I think there's a toddler and so this sim the one that i'm like cre creating right now this sim took a good half of the video so you will be seeing this sim for a very long time that happens in every single one the first sim takes a good 15 minutes and then the other three sims there's not three sims but like usually around that many sims takes about the same amount of time so you know that's okay but also toddlers don't take that long to make so it's probably a little bit more even with the two like adult sims and then like a little bit of time for the toddler but you know the the first sim usually takes so long i think it's just because i'm not sure what i'm doing with the sim and also i make them more complex i'm not really sure exactly why i do that it just kind of happens and also i could not figure it out what i wanted this sim to wear i think i changed it like so many times like this original outfit changed all of the time like i could have kept so many different outfits but i just feel it, like it didn't fit and so i just kept changing it like i can see so many outfits that i had tried on and i was just like kept changing it and i'm like that was good you could have kept that and i don't even know what i left like them in because i had changed it so many times because i just didn't feel like anything was working correctly which like is so strange but then the other sim worked just fine finished that sim much quicker quicker i guess but the other sim has like blonde i mean like white i guess hair it's like very just white it's like very just like paper white and so that is what i like styled their entire style i guess on is just their hair color but this sim couldn't do that there, there's not that much hair and it's brown so you know there wasn't very much to do with that one so i just kept trying and eventually it was stuck with something around what you can see now um N not for very long, um, but for a period of time it does stay somewhat around there. I think that is around what it stays finally. But the shirts, was this, the whole thing was really annoying me. And so I'm not really sure, but I'm hoping at some point it does get to the point of the main outfit. But then I go through the other outfits pretty easily, pretty quickly too. So, you know, that's pretty fun. And so this family is kind of like a cottage family. They feel like they'd fit fairly well in like Hennifer on Bagley. That's where the thumbnail is taken. And so you can put them anywhere. But like, I feel like if you walked down the street in like, sand my shuno they might stick out a little bit but you know probably fine doesn't really matter but that's just basically what i designed them to be and so i thought they were pretty fun they're they're decorated very nicely and it took me forever i felt like i was doing these sims for like three hours it wasn't three hours it was like maybe 40 minutes 45 if i'm lucky but it just felt like it was so long to be fair i did get interrupted in the middle of them not for you know two hours but for like a little bit so that might have been why my brain just associated with the whole thing taking that long so i'm not really sure but it felt like it was so long but it wasn't like a bad long but it, it was definitely felt like it was taken forever to do the sims but you know that's not always a bad thing so you know i had fun but that's about it for the video so now i'm going to move on to some of the things that i did at school the first thing is the after school like system of picking up children is a full-on mess one there's not enough parking spaces for everybody 
during the school day, there's not enough kids, like, parking spots that, like, down in, in the, like, big lot, like, the students' parking lot, I guess. There's not enough parking spots there. Like, it needs to be bigger, but there's not anywhere for it to go, obviously, so they can't make it bigger, but there's just not enough places. Like, it's packed. And then after school, they have a sing like, a singular drop-off lane, and then a parking lot that's, like, the teacher's parking lot, but it's also, like, partially a visitor's lot that you're not allowed to use this visitor's lot you know so really fun right there so they the people like the like i don't know administrators or like i guess like security and like i don't know i don't know what they their job title is but the people they'll just ride around in like golf carts and be like telling people to move like this is a visitor spot like marked and they'll just be like no you can't park here and so it doesn't make that much sense, but like you cannot stay anywhere and you cannot pick up your kids if you are stationary. So it is um, really, really difficult. And so um, it's gotten really worse in the last like week. So we'll see, I'm hoping it gets warmer again so people will start walking home because then it gets easier. Because if there's more kids walking home, then you just see, you know, big, you know, groups of people walking home and then you can get out of the school building. But you cannot do that right now, so it's it's really, really unfortunate, and it's really annoying because there's just so many people, and you can't get into your car anywhere, so it's really fun right there. And so we'll see um, what happens with that one. Um, but other than that, on Thursday, we had um, a good percentage of nothing, and then also just tests that day. Um, we did so much nothing. I, I talked about that in that in last video, and so we didn't do much of anything this week. And so, especially on Thursday, we had I had three tests that day. I had one in math, and my math tests are really good. I'm pretty okay at math. They're not difficult in the slightest so I did my math test and that was all fine I did a French test it was all great and then I had a world history test it wasn't that great I felt like I was gonna die all of the way through and but I think I got a good grade I think I got like an 18 out of 21 I think is what I got so that's not bad for you know an AP class 18 out of 21 is pretty good but I felt like I was dying like I was already planning when I was gonna save my retake so, you know, it was it was not bad, or it, it was bad, but it, f it wasn't actually bad, but it felt horrible, so. But the rest of the time, we did a good percentage of nothing, N nothing. We didn't do anything, and like I said in the last video, we didn't do anything in English. I think I just sat there for most of the class, and then in math, I took my test, took like 15 minutes, and then the rest of the class, I had nothing to do, because I had no homework, because I had already finished it, in English, I think, and I had like maybe a thing of homework that I was planning on doing. It was like, uh, I don't even know, like a video to watch or something. I don't know. It was very easy though. And so then math, I had nothing to do. So I just kind of sat there. I did some puzzles on my phone and then I was like, okay, that was real fun. And then in chemistry, we just did a pre-lab question, like three of them. And then I had nothing to do. So, and, and then that happened in every single one of my classes and in like health we had nothing to do because we had a sub and the sub just told us to work on the projects that we'd all finished the day before because they were kind of due the day before so not really sure but we all just sat on our phones she just kind of sat there and just like made everybody quiet and then we just all just like messed on our phones and that happened every single period and it was really horrible because like i could have you know not been at school but like I was gonna go to school. But like it didn't need to happen other than those three tests that I had. And like it wasn't even that bad. The only period that I was like actually like worried about was my world history thing. And that was at the very end of the day. And I don't know. But that was the only period I actually had the, the entire period to like do stuff. Except for like five to ten-ish minutes at the end. But that wasn't bad because I just needed a break after my test. And so it was a lot. Like we had this thing, it's called a DBQ. It's a data-based question, like essay kind of thing. But we all needed the outline because, you know, you don't just like rush back into the essay because we were just starting to learn it. And so it's really bad. I hate it. It's not as bad as the LEQ, which is um, a long answer essay question. And so... The, with the DBQ, you get, like, um, data. You get, like, documents and, like, pictures and stuff to use for the essay. But the LEQ, you don't get anything. You just kind of 
gotta get information out of your mind. It is literally torture. I hate it so much. And, um, it was not fun. It's not fun even t to do either version. But we haven't started actually writing the DBQs yet, and I just don't think I'm gonna get it done. I don't think I'm gonna get these DBQs done during a period, because it took me basically the entire thing to just do the outline. And you do not have time on the AP exam to do that, because I spent so long doing that. I don't know what I'm actually supposed to need to do for the, like, actual, like, essay. But, I, you know, I think it's going to be a little bit more work, and also you got to write it all down. So that, that takes forever. If you had to, like, type it, it'd be, like, so much less time, but you got to write it on paper, and so that's just horrible. So I'm not looking forward to that. And so, you know, but it was really stressful on that single period and we have to do it again probably next unit so you know but it was really stressful and I'm still stressed about it you, as you can probably hear in my voice really bad but that, that's about it so I'm now going to um you know end the video right here as it is almost screenshots time so subscribe if you did like today's video or if you want to see more like this but I do post four videos a week so you can watch another video next time bye